literature, which I do because I love it <laughs> and because I want it to prevail. I really think another path should be chosen by Israeli politicians and Israeli society at large. But when, uh, when I see my Jewish friends uh, having comments uh, which really remind me on, uh, of people who, who, who say the same things just in different setups, anti-Semitic things, uh, calling uh, Palestinians as like one group, like names, uh, making statements that are really way against uh, simplistic and sometimes I feel that Jews really didn't learn from history uh, they should know better and this is this is what I feel about Israel as well no no don't get me wrong when uh, rockets are fired at Israel the Israeli government doesn't have any choice I mean if I would be prime minister of course I would fire back I mean you don't have other choices because it is your responsibility to protect your citizens but there is a process what, uh, what was before this. There is a reason uh, why this is a situation and I'm not saying that I'm smart enough to solve this because a lot of people uh, try to do that without any success, uh, obviously. But uh, what I can tell you is this. Uh, if this continues, uh, this is the best uh, prescription for deepening the conflict for maintaining, not, not only maintaining, deepening the conflict, making it more serious and this leads us to a war I don't know when and where and whom exactly will be fighting uh, but this is the way uh, this is the way to go when you want to want war uh, and I'm not saying uh, it's only uh, upon Israel because obviously there are many sides here but what Israel is doing uh, on the long term, I'm talking about 30, 40 years, uh, is really uh, not in the interest of Israel. That's, that's what I believe, and, I, uh, and I'm deeply worried uh, about my family and friends who live there, and I'm deeply worried uh, what path we will take in the future. Uh, but my fear is that uh, the more serious the conflict gets, the people have the tendency to uh, thinking, uh, being narrow-minded and, uh, and wanting a, a solution very soon, which is impossible. If there will be a solution, it will only come long-term, very slowly, with a lot of conflicts, maybe another intifada. Uh, but somehow, Israel society should realize that if they don't start with that, they will never live in, in peace and this really endangers the, the existence of Israel on the long run. Well, uh, let's be polite. Uh, I think it's unrealistic. It will never happen that Jews leave Europe and I think it will be irresponsible. Uh, I think it is our responsibility to, uh, to maintain a presence in Europe, to contribute to the European culture in the way we also contributed. And just because uh, uh, they once tried to kill every true uh, one of us, it doesn't mean uh, that we have to run away. If you run away, then you let them win. Uh, you let them take the field. And uh, then they would rightfully say, okay, Jews were always here because uh, they were just tossed out and they never really felt home. Uh, that's, that would be the wrong message, that would be the wrong thing to do. Uh, but First and foremost, it's completely unrealistic, uh, stupid to think uh, that people, Jewish people will leave Europe. Uh, in a lot of ways we have similar situations like in the beginning of the century. A lot of Jews uh, don't feel Jewish, they feel part of their societies. And uh, if you approach this, this whole thing, uh, with okay, let's bring all the who are the Jews. Then tell me if let's 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 make the uh, let's make it uh, let's try to make it hands-on. If you uh, have enough money to buy plane tickets for I don't know how many people because I I really don't know who are Jewish. Who will you bring? What will you say to those people who say well, I, maybe my grandmother was Jewish but I don't feel I'm Jewish? You will leave them behind. They will come after them. If there will be a Holocaust, they will be considered Jewish. We will leave them behind and we will take them by force. Uh, this is just uh, so theoretical and so far-fetched from anything uh, 
that I'm really shocked when people uh, ask me this. <laughs> I know that it, it's, in, it's, in a, uh, it's there and there's a debate about this and I've got this a lot of times. So why don't we buy plain tickets to European Jews? It's the same, why don't you buy, I don't know, plain tickets to American Jews, to Israel? Every Jew should live in Israel, that's the only place where there is anti-Semitism also in the United States. So.